Okay, looking at the voltmeter, volts per meter here, in the middle of the room it's about point, about 5 volts per meter. And uh, it's a rainy day here. And up by the light, I'm going to hold it right up by the light and freeze it. And we have 356 VPM by the uh, uh, light. You get that 356 by the light in the corridor. Yeah. And then I'll turn off the hold and down by the floor it is again around about five or six. Okay, I'm going to go in the lab. Okay, in the lab we have currently nearby the device we have about 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 14 middle like waist height 11 14 down by the ground it's about five six freeze that um, by the light there was about 700. Okay, George, it was about 700 up by the light, about 14 at my waist height, which is the same height I held it before, um, and uh, the same kind of five or six down by the ground. And I'm just going to go and check by the actual reaction vessel. So by the copper chloride, uh, next to the sort of two thirds of the way up the tank, it was 132. And I'm going to look at the uh, season. Okay, so that was up to 800 by the cesium. <laughs> 800, yeah. It was more, more than right up by the light. <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to see in here what the effect is if I grab the voltmeter and I'm just moving it, take it off freezing, and I'm going to move it closer and further away from the phone. So it's a 0 0.5, 14.5, down away further from the phone. Bring it back closer to the phone. Okay, so the phone doesn't be, seem to be affecting the VM reading. So there's our control. Uh, anything else we should test? Yeah, I mean, we could do this test uh, periodically to see if the 
the reaction vessels change. I'm just going to go and check the figures uh, whilst I'm on this continuous recording for the uh, copper chloride and the cesium chloride reaction vessels. Okay, but it's actually higher. 